Hi, my name is Dr. David Culla. I'm a board certified chiropractor in New York City and director of Synergy Wellness Chiropractic and Physical Therapy in New York City. And today I want to go over a really common question. What kind of mattress should I get? Well, it's a really great question. It really boils down to four types of mattresses. So I like to kind of simplify it. You need to make a decision whether or not you're going to go with a spring mattress, meaning the core of the mattress, the inside middle of the mattress is made out of springs, or a memory foam type like Tempur-Pedic, latex core mattress, or, and I'm talking about just the cores of the mattress, the inside middle of the mattress. So again, basically you have um, latex core, you have spring core, you have a memory foam core, and last you have air, air mattresses like Sleep Number. So let me start off by saying the, uh, with the sleep number. The sleep number is nice because um, you can adjust the firmness and you can get it a dual chamber. So if your spouse or significant other likes it um, softer or more firm, they can do that or you can just get it all the same chamber as well. And um, I've slept on those. Um, and my personal belief is if you like, um, you should go and try it. Um, they're great mattresses um, and they last for a good 10 years. Um, I had one for 10 years so and it was great and it lasts and I probably could have gotten a few more years out of it. Um, if you take really good care of it you probably can. Um, I would say go try it if you like the the sleep number which is again air you have to plug it in it's a, a like a little machine that goes under the bed and stores under the bed it's not that big and um, you can set it up, they mail it to you even, or you can have somebody set it up for you. But um, they run about $1,000 for a queen mattress. Uh, they're always offering specials. Veterans Day is coming up, so it's a good time to, um, actually today is Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to everyone. Um, so you can get mattress deals during the holidays. So I would recommend um, trying some mattresses out. And if you like the sleep number at the level of seven or eight, then you can always go more firm or below that. Again, it's adjustable. So that's nice. Then you have the spring-loaded mattresses. Those are probably the most common. Um, those, the shelf life could be anywhere from five, um, even less, but five to seven years, typically. Um, you should definitely flip it and turn it over. If you do that, you might get another year or two out of it if you're lucky. Um, and the spring-loaded mattresses uh, are great. They're, you'll find some pretty firm ones. Uh, again, uh, they're gonna be a little bit cheaper. You're not gonna get as much shelf life out of them. And then, um, and if a spring goes on one of those, that can be pretty annoying if you've ever had that happen with a spring mattress. Um, then on the other side, you have um, Tempur-Pedic and Memory Foam. And Memory Foam and Tempur-Pedic, I'm, I'm sure there's all sorts of knockoffs, uh, and they even come with a cooling gel layer to cool your, your uh, skin down at night. People complain of overheating. Um, I wouldn't recommend that if you are really overweight, okay? But other than that, um, if it's comfortable for you, uh, certainly, um, try that. I believe you can get the Tempur-Pedic in different firmness. So you might want to try that before, um, before you purchase one. I mean, this is an expensive purchase, so it's at least a thousand dollars. You can get a good mattress for around a thousand dollars. If you want to go with the final category I was talking about was latex, then, uh, it's a little bit more, maybe 1200 to 1500. Um, and you can even go up in price from there, but Latex comes in natural latex, and then like Talale or Dunlop latex, which is more synthetic. And um, they come in different firmnesses as well, and some of them you can build and, and change the firmness. It goes in layers and it zips open. Uh, you gotta be careful when you buy a latex mattress of what the core is made out of. Some latex mattresses have a core with springs in it, and I find those pretty firm, actually more firm sometimes than the 100% latex mattress, even the most firm of 100% latex mattresses. So uh, if you like a firm mattress, I would suggest checking out the latex. 
Again, the 100% latex would probably be a shelf life of 12 to 15 years, closer to 15. Uh, and the spring-loaded um, one would be, again, about seven years if you're lucky. So I hope this helps. Um, if you're asking me what I use, um, I've had different beds. I've tried different technologies over the years. Um, so obviously before I did this video, I tried out all the different types. Um, I really think it just depends on your comfort level, what, what you feel more most comfortable with, um, and also your size, your weight. Um, and how you sleep. So if you sleep on your back, um, a firm mattress would be really good for someone. Um, but if you um, sleep on your side, if it's too firm, that might hit some pressure points in your shoulder. So you might want to get an adjust with a better pillow. So it really just depends. Um, I, again, I did a video on choosing the right pillow. Um, and that, that also depends on, on back, side, or stomach sleeping. I do not recommend stomach sleeping. Um, and again, back sleeping is recommended. So go to a, a warehouse, try out the different mattresses before the holidays, figure out what you wanna get, what type of mattress. And once you figure out the type that you want or the category, then you can, um, you can kinda narrow down your search and, uh, and pick something that fits you you and or your special significant other or spouse. Um, I hope this helps. Again, um, if you have any questions at all about mattresses, feel free to comment below and I'd be happy to answer you. Thanks. God bless.